Hello, beautiful souls. Your friend cherishes you deeply, and their lives are forever changed because of you. In a world where emotion can be hard to convey, you are the exception. You speak the language of your heart, and they are thankful for your presence. Welcome, wonderful beings. We extend our gratitude for your continuous love and support. Today's reading explores the reasons why you shouldn't shoulder the responsibility of fixing someone. Let's embark on this enlightening journey together. The King of Swords represents someone who approaches relationships from a logical perspective. They might come across as having a big ego and engage in conversations that seem distant and uninterested. When they reach out to you, it's usually just for small talk and nothing deeper. If you happen to see them in public, they may appear cool and distant, which can be really upsetting. The King of Swords prioritizes thinking over feelings in their relationships. They may seem detached and unemotional, which can hurt your heart. But it's important to know that they value intellect and reason above all else. Behind their composed exterior, there's a complex person who craves meaningful connections. By appreciating their unique perspective and engaging in deep conversations, you can unlock the profound emotional bond hidden within the King of Swords. Amidst these tough times, I want you to keep your heart wide open. I understand that it's really hard for you right now as I'm writing this at 1010. But let me remind you of your incredible power to make things happen. However, it's crucial that you use this power with love and not let your ego take control. The Queen of Swords wants us to shift our focus away from this person and establish stronger boundaries both physically and emotionally. This means taking care of yourself and not allowing others to harm you. I know it might feel overwhelming, but please remember that you are strong and resilient. Let your kindness and empathy guide your actions and make sure to prioritize your own well-being. By doing so, you can shield yourself from further pain and find peace within the chaos. It's important to realize that this person also plays mind games with themselves. They desperately want control, but this kind of connection doesn't allow for it. If you're truly open to it, they carry a lot of fear and anxiety and might even have difficulty feeling genuine love. You might feel like it's your responsibility to fix them, but in the end, you end up hurting yourself more. This might be a recurring pattern where you're strongly drawn to this person and have a strong desire to take care of them or rescue them. It's a delicate balance to let go of someone while still keeping your heart open and being receptive to their suppressed emotions. But it's hard to tap into it, especially because they build walls around themselves as a form of protection. To mend this bond, it's essential to focus on healing yourself. Take a moment to address any negative beliefs or thoughts you may have about emotional connections and love. By doing this, you free yourself from the burden of fixing others and empower yourself to create healthier dynamics. Always remember, you deserve love, especially from yourself. From Divine Muscular Type Yes If You Believe